Principle of the Void and Opacity Principle of the Void is talking about the unknown, the unprepared, the unpredicted. You don't always want to plan and plan and plan. Sometimes if you just plan and plan and plan, you miss a point. And being in a void of ideas keeps you actually open for everything to come. And keeps your flexibility at maximum. You want to be working with the void and not against the void. In martial arts you can actually take this principle very literally with a cliche of if they hit you don't be where they hit. This is also part of the void. But also if you just plan okay I will do one two three movements but actually it happens something completely different. If you don't plan this if you just tune to whatever and not to what you had in mind so your mind is more flexible for changes and you can just adjust quicker. So generally avoid speaking about the unknown dimension of information. And this leads us to the next point of opacity. Opacity is a state of mind where you don't know what is going to happen. You don't have enough information on what is happening, you're not sure. It is a very important part of the uncertainty and combat is a, is a natural place of, for uncertainty. Use this uncertainty. But the state of mind of opacity is a negative side of uncertainty. It happens when you unaccepting the uncertainties. If you accept the uncertainties, you start be proactive and work with it. If you don't accept the uncertainties or really don't have a choice and just under a clock of mis and disinformation, your brain start to fill in the gap and usually the mind will fill the gaps with the worst case scenario it can possibly imagine and this state of mind of opacity is one of the hardest psychological effects for humans. Unlike most animals, we actually have the perception of future. And we usually deal with it by having some sort of routine or planning. Under opacity, we have no routine and no planning. We just don't know what to do. And opacity can bring you to fear and terror and panic. A good example for opacity is, let me ask you a question, what is easier, to be under a constant bombardment or under random bombardment? Under a constant bombardment, it drives you nuts, but yes, you can make some sort of routine, you get used to it. Under a random bombardment, you can't have routine. You don't know when it will strike you. You only know that it will. You don't know when. And it's very hard to make any kind of routine this way. So, this opacity is when you are in a void. Void of information, void of action. One of the ways to deal with it is actually making a subroutine for those periods of quiet. Use this time for training. Use this time for building your strengths. For bettering yourself. For psychological strengthening. The thing about those periods of time is that you don't know when they're gonna end. So use this status quo of quiet as much as you can because when it will end 
most likely, it will end up suddenly and with great violence. And it looks like it might be, but it, if you plan it correctly so it only looks like you gave the initiative to the enemy. It doesn't have to be this way. You can choose when making the enemy act where and how according to your plan if you are wise enough. Another thing that this period of opacity requires is for you to stay alert. If you let your guards down, get into this complacence mode, then you will be surprised. And then you really give the initiative to the enemy. Void and opacity. Void is about the unknown and opacity is what happens when we are under a great deal of uncertainties and unknown in terms of intelligence and information and planning. And we deal with it by making some routines and preparing knowingly it will end up with surprising violence.